you are on zero you are on zero you are on zero ugandan shillings or zero danish krona and how can you just sit back and just look you sit back you look and you observe that there's two goats in the compound and then later on people are running out of the compound and then you observe that they are put in a section that you would have slashed away last year being 2020 and you wouldn't because you are afraid of claims and then 2021 and three months to an end of your pagatore they are in a section that has bush or plants and if they slapped a glass onto that wall on the other end of the fence it would look like a snake section in Entebezo and you are on zero and you are on zero Ugandan shillings and you are on zero Danish kroner and you remember that in Denmark you died several times or you slept and awakened like as though you had died while you were on zero and they made sure that you had no money a network was performed with uh, Emma Uphill, other names Emma Komagome Lom Knight, other names Emmanuel Komakech and born as Emmanuel Elom Knight. Something came in invisibly, slippery wet hands and it said maybe you don't need these coins, maybe you don't need this money and then it took the last coin that Emma had in his past meaning that zero is the true religion zero is the true religion zero not a zilch is the true religion keeping in mind that over the times that emma has gone through this and he's still going through this meaning it's maybe like four years or five years of non-stop you know pakatore meaning denmark 2017 began with two boys actually you know tlc no scrubs they were driving their low chases car wanting to shoot it was paradise in Denmark and uh, Emma was the Entebbe airport child and at the same time at Entebbe Botanical Gardens Emma as well could say he, he was the Entebbe Botanical Gardens child when he got to Denmark at the Rolowa Park Vai meaning a botanical garden he was able to go through the same you know hallelujah kind of like I may be seeing paradise or I may be seeing a different dimension and at the end of the day there's as well Norport Botanical Gardens, there's as well uh, Zoology Scale or Copenhagen Zoo Botanical Gardens, so much of Botanical Gardens and uh, at the end of the day Emma has more than 15 stars but I like saying 15 stars like the American flag. So maybe I'm blessed but lately on my WordPress blog I've been saying I'm cursed so moving on from that zero is the true religion zero not a zilch is a true religion and at the end of the day there are two gods and you're thinking to yourself when is a snake coming through then you remember luganda the language luganda being a bantu tribe if you're south african you'd understand luganda if you are east african you'd understand bits of luganda and you're thinking to yourself, meaning that I have nothing to do with that, first point. Second, second point, there is um, the Entebezu child, which is me, and uh, there's a snake section or a section that would be made easily into a snake section if it was slapped with a glass. And you're thinking to yourself, can you contact these people? Have you been able to contact these people? Meaning as well, it's the Entebbe Zoo child curse or it is the Entebbe Zoo curse. Um, I've been able to comment and say it was a Jomo Kenyatta Obama curse, the Google portrait picture they put up. And I've been as well able to say that it is an Uhuru Kenyatta Obama curse, meaning Google Photos and so many of the Let's say sons he has that have been around me. I've never been to Kenya that much or to Kenya that much. But I think Uhuru Kenyatta World or Uhuru Kenyatta was made in some way to come around Uganda and hold my hand while I was a younger child in Intinda Kalinabiri. So at the end of the day, moving on from that, Zero Nada Zilch is a true religion, keeping in mind that 7 Eleven needed Emma to shop from them. So McDonald's, Brown View, 
closed up or made sure that Emma didn't like their burgers, so he would move over to 7-Eleven, Roskivai. There's planes flying. I have to pause. I have never used flight in a long time. I had to come back to get done with this purgatory. So I'm at zero and I noticed that there's gods. I noticed the snake section. I didn't get angry. I didn't fight with the night security world. I noticed the night security world might not be the night security world. Meaning that when you are awakened at this point, uh, uh, let's say two years into everything, you find that it gets difficult to be able to speak supernaturally with the people around you. Uh, first thought is maybe they are praying. Second thought is no, Emma Uphill is not the vampire. On the other end or on the other hand, those that are being invisible just like in uh, the Vampire Diaries and their sister series, the original series, are actually the vampires. They are able to move at speeds of lightning or a little bit slower than lightning they are able to do things without being seen meaning invisibly they are able to carry things invisibly and the supernatural series as well highlights this as uh, fuck the winchesters but as dean and sam winchester uh have their uncle uh you know maybe die or something he becomes invisible and is able to go through the phases of being an invisible and uh, that is bobby singer bobby singer is amazing but moving away from that you know i walked up to the hill to go to the only situation i know and the only situation i have been shown over the years in so many ways through oral conversation now back to the first point that i had in my first podcast there's females carrying babies on their waist and there is atlantis the animation and there is males males that put on spectacles meaning the devils and honestly speaking with the kind of awakening i've had from you know denmark and then i had to go to sweden because there's been ugandans in sweden and there's these ugandans actually have been here uh in makinje so i was pulled to makinje because in Bali, eastern uganda plus busoga region grew towards sweden and at the end of the day um i had to go to gothenburg i had to go to malmo otherwise i would have missed out on awakening as well and knowing what i did not know cars on the road and i had just paused a bit but luckily for me i as well can say that i'm nice when i say that supernaturally i never wanted to land in sweden and supernaturally i would have never landed in sweden so what pulled me to sweden was the yellow cabs and that was in 2016 meaning i had now money or i was now making money as the internet escort it took me six months to actually say okay i'll be the internet escort and in my apartment i think i had three thousand us dollars saved aside so i know the day those were the low rings meaning that i was a hookup girl meaning that all i needed was my mcdonald's job and i had a mcdonald's job and i was able to meet i think a few people and i was able to just save my money aside if that was what was going to happen meaning emma was going to be working in mcdonald's he was going to be able to have a lot of money why did emma lack money he had to get zeroed so that he would die so many times he would sleep and wake up sleep and wake up like as though he had died and come back because there were so many prayer requests uh let me take it back to mcdonald's i was able to have three thousand us dollars in my apartment very innocent money i didn't have to register as a sex worker uganda hotel africana and the global fund and uh, sex worker organizations already knew that emma is going to go through the pain of registering for taxes as a sex worker that was around 2013 and by 2009 uh hotel africana had already hosted claim spaces meaning these people would be in denmark and emma would encounter them so at the end of the day this Ephraim kisangala that gets to meet megan marco and blah 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 so back on point i didn't get to work at mcdonald's i was made to leave the job because i was being you know have, i was having something put in my drink and uh i was able to ride a bicycle but i would have fallen off the bicycle deep in sleep and deep in slumber i had to wake up early to go to work and you know what's interesting 
the long beard wild or the wizard wild is right here in uganda as well as mo williams or as john johansen and even if they aren't physically present right now the encounters i've had at seguku market on entebbe airport road i can honestly say that they are present with the males the african males they've uplifted meaning that when you have been asleep for two decades you are two decades late and uh with that being said back on point i'm at zero there is atlantis the animation there is females that carry babies on their waist and even visibly right now in this world i'm walking around in they are here there is the devils and in my awakening in gothenburg and back to copenhagen uh that is sweden and then in denmark i was able to see that these people are shameless and they actually walk into your house walk into your apartment and the Elvis Herbert Eisega males were maybe forced to do that while I was still in Uganda before I moved to Denmark. He just showed up in my apartment. He was walking invisibly and I was like, what? I'm not really nice. I had to politely send him away. Then at the same time in Denmark, while I was in my apartment as the escort, the white Elvis Herbert Eisega males or the white, um, let's say, Sinka Tongole Sun, the Kampala Sun newspaper, you know the white males that you know would be in uganda as the elvis habataisiga males or the david okecho guiri males were they are walking invisibly in my apartment and then suddenly i knock at the door and i was doing photography and then i had to stop everything to be the sex worker now at the end of the day my point is i had to be the sex worker without having a job and if you're a sex worker you had to be the sex worker without having a job because as a job or working girl you would save money yet you had to be at zero or zeroed so that you would awaken after dying so many times i don't know about other people but with me i can say that there is uh so many readings that i went through as a kid maybe that's why i kind of question my gift of intellect so many readings i went through as a kid and then i find in my adulthood there's presidential precedents there is a rebel leader there's a rebel leader there is an interim president but at the end of the day skin tone darkened as a young child meaning i recall everything and being deliberately made to be on zero everything is everything and everything is about you except for the fact that you have no money you have no food because you are deliberately being misused and abused to make precedentes happen now after being awakened i can add you out and say that i no longer have anything to do with any other things because somebody made sure british airways or british airbus gave me nothing somebody made sure sabena airways or sabena airbus gave me nothing and somebody has made sure that even if there's presidential situations I have been given nothing and I'm just waiting for my passport. It's three months to an end of Pagatore. And as I've been zeroed, I noticed that there were gods and a section that looks like a snake section. The only memory I have where I can blame myself is I questioned a grandmother or a rendered grandmother situation whether there's a possibility of building a zoo near a house. Meaning that I was questioning her and her vast land. I never understood the concept of being a woman that is old and living in the village far away from town. And uh, I'll just end the recording here.